Hi, my name's Vince. I'm the founder of Joyride. There we go. <laughs> By 2050, 70% of the world's population will be living in cities. And in two years, there will be more cyclists commuting in central London than cars. The roads are getting congested, and at times, pretty scary. And if you're a cyclist like me and you want to stay safe, and it's probably best to avoid the roads where the most accidents happen. Early last year in Toronto, we were building Joyride because we wanted to help cyclists find their stolen bikes. Then on one day, on July 4th, 20 people were hit by cars and one man was killed. And suddenly we realized that maybe bicycle theft wasn't the number one issue facing cyclists. Joyride's aim is to make cycling safer and become the go-to name in city cycling data. Multiple studies have shown that the majority of cyclists feel unsafe on the roads. Yet, cities are trying to get more people to ride their bike, which is why the mayor of London recently announced 770 million pounds being invested in new cycling infrastructure. And better infrastructure can save lives, and it will also get more people riding their bike which is expected to have an economic benefit of 2.2 billion pounds in London alone. But before cities can start building infrastructure, they need the proper tools to collect the right data. And we can't keep relying on this to help us transform our streets and keep cyclists safe. That's where we come in. Joyride informs cities on how cyclists are riding their bike, which routes and side streets they prefer, their variations in speed, and which junctions are the most dangerous. All important information you need to build world-class cycling infrastructure. And we do this with our out-of-the-box software and hardware. Joyride mounts to, or it's integrated in the bike, and once it's attached, it starts collecting data with our patent-pending Wi-Fi tracking method or with low-power connectivity. We're first launching Joyride with bike-sharing fleets because it's a market that's growing 20% every year. And bike-sharing collects more data per bike. 56 million trips have happened in London, yet their data set is incredibly limited. They only know where you've collected the bike and where you've dropped it off without the details in between, which would be like if Facebook knew when you've logged in and when you've logged out without ever measuring what you do on their site. We help cities and operators collect, measure, and analyze all of that data in between. And with our analytic dashboard, operators get a bird's eye view of their fleet in the field, helping them out with maintenance and finding a stolen bike. One of the world's largest bike sharing suppliers has even said that Joyride Solution is one that cities are looking for right now. Our business model consists of selling the hardware to bike sharing suppliers and operators with a monthly subscription to our analytic dashboard. The market for smart city transportation management in Europe is growing at 23% every year with spending reaching 13.5 billion pounds on device connectivity. We estimate that at least 10% of that will be dedicated to cycling, making this a billion pound market. Now let me tell you about the team. Haroon, my co-founder, an aerospace engineer, who's a former program manager at the Canadian Space Society. Bobby, our hardware developer, spent 15 years building, designing, manufacturing, tracking devices for security and law enforcement. And Felix, our software developer, former department head of computer science, has experience building data platforms. And myself, I run the business and operations of the company and I've been dodging cars on my bike since I was four. <laughs> the scars to prove it. We've launched a pilot with the new electric bike share scheme here in London called Dravinci, and we're delighted to share that the CEO will be at our booth later today to tell you about their experience using Joyride. We've turned their bikes into connected smart bikes, meaning they don't need any station infrastructure and cyclists can park wherever they want. This is the new model that's exploding in China right now, and it's the future of smart city transportation happening here. 
And we have something exciting to announce. We've just signed a contract with the Future Cities Catapult to launch an initiative here in London to make cycling safer for families and children, partnering with the London Cycling Campaign. And I can't wait to tell you more about it at the booth. Speaking of the future, we need your help to reach the next milestone. We're raising 200,000 pounds to kick off our production so we can launch in five more cities across Europe by the end of the year, and so we can grow our team to significantly enhance our data tools for urban planners. To me, a smart city is a city that can adapt quickly to the needs of its citizens. Joyride is helping cities collect that data so they can adapt for generations to come. Thank you for your time.